bar and group four, a fruitful combination. Get ourselves strapped in. Off we go, short run down to La Source. Run it down now to Eau Rouge. Get a nice exit off Eau Rouge there over the top of Radion onto the Kemmel Strait. Watch for the slip. Just watch what's happening in front. Pretty wide there, going to Ravage. He's backed out of it. That seems to be a good idea. I've gone off. Hang on. Just get by just in time for one Jimon. Ran a bit wide there in front of us, that's not so bad. It's a bus stop, bit of a late one there, but we look like we've done it for now. Just watch that inside if you come out. And on to lap two. Spa and Group 4, very favourable combination. And Spa, just in general, one of my favourite tracks as well. Just try to keep up the speed there as you, as you exit as much as you can. Please don't run off areas there at Ravage, yeah, otherwise I'd have been in right trouble on the first lap. Pastor Maldonado's favourite corner. It's entirely here through Puan. Just watch for the Nissan Sylvia behind us. Bit of trivia, Max Verstappen's dad, Jos Verstappen, had a massive crash at Stavolo. I think it was the 96 Belgian Grand Prix. He just completely wrote his car off, brought the safety car out. A little one at Longimon when... I can't remember, it was either Luciano Berti or Eddie Irvine that went off at 200 miles an hour nearly into the tyres. And it took quite a bit of time to get them out, but they were okay, thankfully. And about here in 98, when David Coulthard dropped it on a drain cover and caused one of the best looking crashes ever in Formula One. Lambo's gonna do us here. Pretty comfortable there in the end with the additional straight line speed. Good run there out of Lacombe. Stay with him into Ravage. A little bit wide there as well. We're not quite poised though to take advantage. Here in 98, when Murray Walker exclaimed, Oh God, as Michael Schumacher hit the back of DC, and DC slowed down, and Schumacher was trying to lap him and didn't see him because it was so wet. Yeah, good run here through Stavolo. I just got on that curb there. It's going to allow us to just get a bit of a run alongside. Going to be side by side going into Bonjour by the look of it. I'm going to have to back out of that one. Won't really alongside him anyway, but side by side and blodgy one's a bit risky. In fact, it's very risky. Of course, after three, wheeling it back to the pits. Schumacher then went down to the McLaren garage and tried to take Coulthard's head off, which was, uh, well, Coulthard was still wearing his helmet at the time, so. Just felt a bit scruffy there out my source. I was trying to get myself set up for a run up and over top of Radion there, but it seems like not to be at the minute. Yep, 
yet. We've just got someone there off. Side. Was that a tap from me there? Let's try and get the leap of space. Oh, just caught the curb there. Catch the curbs that poo on as well. That can also send you off if you're not careful. Thankfully, now most of Spa has asphalt run up areas, which is very useful. got the BHS somewhere of F196 when uh, Yoss had his crash at Stavolo back there. Remember, there's tyres all over the track. It was a right mess. Right, bring it home. That's quite good, that one. 